Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And to all my brothers out here preaching this truth to you, I say Shalom. This is Amantazar from the Chicago camp coming back at you again with another lesson entitled Puffy Distraction Exposure Love Speech. All right, everywhere you look right now, on all the social media, and even in the news, you got Puffy and his sexual exploits all over the place. All right, so for years, um, there's been gay rumors uh, or mole rumors about uh, Puffy. All right, but now it's coming out that he's something of some type of broker where, you know, he's getting paid um uh, underground Hollywood to create and uh, put together these freak off parties. All right. And uh, allegedly some of it is involving minors. Either way, it's a whole bunch of same sex um, wickedness just going on. Okay. Um, it just may be uh, the fact that they're bringing it out now. It just may be a distraction, but that still doesn't take away from the fact that these th these wicked things are being done, okay? So now it's being exposed, all right? Um, and you have uh, Esau Edom that wants to put a, a muzzle on the truth. And anytime you tell, uh, anytime you uh, talk about, you know, these alphabet people and their lifestyle, they call it hate speech, okay? So that's why I call it love speech. So this is a puffy distraction and exposure, love speech. This is love speech, okay? Also, um, the whole concept and whole understanding of uh, Moism, okay? This, uh, all of this uh, men with men, women with women, okay? I did a two-part lesson on this channel, all right? You can look for that. It's called Born That Way. It goes into um, the origin of all of that uh, Moism, the origin of the LGBTQism, all of that lifestyle. So it covers that. So take a listen to that. All right. So let's get some uh, understanding here. All right. Um, you got Puffy's longtime bodyguard gene deal he's revealing a lot of secrets and he's he's talking about it if you look at the thumbnail it says and they meet them at the turkish bath all right so now this is some kind of hot pool or something where men are bathing each other and they go and they bathe naked and here they they have um you know their different meetings and stuff like that uh, so they playing the next soiree, so to speak. Okay, so uh, Gene, I, I, I've watched a couple of videos. He he kind of he, he ain't holding much back. He's he telling a lot. Okay, um, but this lesson in this lesson we're gonna talk about Esau Edom and this whole Hollywood. His goal is to make you abominable. That's what he wants to do. All right, so. Whether whether it's uh, inside of Hollywood or outside of Hollywood, uh, Esau wants to make you abominable to our father. That's why he pushes um, for you to eat the unclean foods, okay? That's why he pushes you when you're in Hollywood to get on the casting couch and have some kind of same-sex interaction. To make you abominable. All right. <clears throat> so let's take a, a look. Uh, it says, <clears throat> the God of this world blinds you by fortune and fame. Psalms 37 and 16 says, a little that a righteous man have is better than the riches of many wicked. First Timothy 6 and 9 says, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, 
which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. All right. So if you coveting after riches, that coveting after the riches is, you know, that's that's what's going to make you. Kind of like uh, let down your so-called morals, you know, you have people who've never been in the same sex situation in their lives, but then they're tempted with a part in a movie or, or, or the possibility of recording an album. You know, all this could be yours. All you got to do is eat that carpet, munch on that carpet or, you know what I'm saying, bite this pickle, so to speak. You see, you'll just put anything in your mouth. So that's what this is all about. Esau wants to get you to drop your guard and cover it after the money, okay, and and make yourself abominable. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Amashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So here you have Esau, Edom, and his wine. He's got you completely deceived and got your minds blinded. Okay? Well, you don't recognize the truth. Okay? Esau got this whole world upside down. All right? These women today, they can't see the value in marriage at all. Okay, they don't see marriage at all. They don't want to be married. They just want to be whores. All right, this is Luke 4 and 5. Let's take a look and see how the devil tempted Yahawashai. It says, Luke 4 and 5, it says, And the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, all this power I, I give thee and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me. And to whomsoever I will, I give it. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. Now, verse 6, it says, for that is delivered unto me. Well, who do you think he got it from? Okay. Yahweh. Okay. He gives these abilities and, and gifts, all right, to the spiritual demon Satan so he can give it to who he will. And he tried to offer it to Yahawashai, and of course he, he turned him down. Of course he turned him down. All right, but Satan is still in the earth and Satan is still giving out 360 deals. All right, <laughs> if you don't know what a 360 deal is, look that up, okay? Um, prior to coming into the truth, um, I, I was uh, writing music and I was trying to do my own album and all that kind of stuff. You got to be familiar with some of these terms. All right. So 360 deal, right? If you're in the music industry, it's basically the deal that they write after, after the success of Beyonce and Jennifer Lopez and all of these people, when they become so uh, puffy and when they become so big that they're making money hand over fist and other endorsements, Esau was like, you know what? You although you may start in music, you may start in music, you you can become through your success in music, you can become a uh an actor or actress or you know uh pro get a product line, all of that, like Jennifer Lopez did. So what happens is the music industry and these devils, they create contracts called 360 contracts that basically says that you become ours and any success that you have outside of the music industry, we want a piece of that money too. That's what a 360 deal is. All right, enough on that. Let's get back. All right. Um, Esau wants to make your soul abominable, right? So again, he pushes you to eat the unclean animals, right? 
So when you when you look at uh, these movies and you you see the rap videos, what are they eating? Shrimp and lobster, right? Shrimp and lobster. That's what they eating most of the time. Clams and oysters and all this old abominable bullshit. This is Leviticus twenty and twenty five. It says, "Ye shall therefore put." Difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean. And ye shall not make your souls abominable by beast or by fowl or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, Yahweh, am holy, and have severed you from other people that ye should be mine. All right? So who's he talking? He's talking about the Israelites, okay? You're not supposed to be eating snakes and alligators and clams and lobsters and oysters and crawfish and shrimp. You ain't supposed to be eating none of that. This is Deuteronomy 14 and 3. It says, thou shalt not eat any abominable thing. All right, so if you want to really get into what you can and can't eat, read Leviticus the 11th chapter, okay? Also, you can make yourself abominable as well, all right, with carnally, you know, with, with carnal sexual acts. This is Leviticus 18 and 20. It says, Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her. Leviticus 18 and 22, it says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely, surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Okay? That's called love speech. Okay? The Lord says they should be put to death. So two men... All right, two men, two women lying with each other. That's an abomination and should be put to death. All right, so that's that. Isaiah 3 and 9, it says, The show of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin is Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe or destruction unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. All right. So the Lord, he's going to repay. All right. He's going to repay according to your doings. All right. Jeremiah, in closing, Jeremiah 44 and 4 says, How be it? I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Okay? So I pray that this lesson has been edifying. Okay? All praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, Bashem, Rakakadash. This has been a puffy distraction, exposure, love speech. Okay? Pray this lesson was edifying to the next one. Shalom.